First, I want to just allow, I want to, not just, I want to say, I am sending so much love to your light. We are here in love to in love, in here with love, with love for each other, for the planet, for our growth, for our service. Together we rise. So the message that wanted to come through today was this embrace to embody and this concept that this last year and these years that have been leading up to this moment, this really fundamental, potent moment of transformation where we're literally ushering in a new earth, the potency of which we cannot even begin to understand. So whatever the complexities, the complexications, if you will, of your own life, know that it is for a much larger picture. We can only see through our lens. So whatever we're feeling, we like to attach to the lens of our own reality but what we're doing is a much larger grand scale initiation activation acceleration of creating a new earth it's a big deal people and it's not always easy so we want to acknowledge that so we've been in the space of embracing concepts right like embracing them and then we, we're sliding a door we're moving into this new expression of embodying and that's where we're at this five year, this change year, it's all about moving from the concepts, the, the em, embracing like, oh, I get that. To, oh, I get that. And I've been having this experience myself in, um, and I've spoken to this on other videos, but in the law of attraction, right? So following the law of attraction for 25 years, you know, following Abraham Hicks, following the law of attraction, having this concept of, of embracing the concept of how we create, right? From a, from a conceptual space of embracing, it makes sense that your thoughts become things and they become things by the reality of the vibration you are holding. And we've, we know this, we've heard it a trillion times. What's available now, my friends, is an embodiment of, an, of a clarity, of an understanding of what does that actually feel like? And you've heard me say it so many times, 3D, third dimensionality is thought, it's mind, it's thinking. Higher resonance, fifth dimensionality is feeling, it's resonance right? It's feeling. It's not, I think I feel. It's I feel, so I become. So we're moving from this concept, concepts being embraced to concepts being embodied. And how you get there is by feeling what it feels like. And there's been so much deconstruction through manifestation and abundance over the last few years of um, and a lot of people have marketed it of, you know, why the law of attraction doesn't work because it isn't about saying things a hundred times. It isn't, it, it, that is a pathway to get you into the feeling and we create everything by feeling. Everything on this planet is frequency. Everything, all of it is frequency. And as we're deconstructing third dimensionality of our thinking mind, our feeling resonance is coming online. That's why everything's feeling so intense, right? We're, we're coming out of that numb of, of only generating and operating from the mind, which holds programs and limitations and ancestral beliefs and trauma-related expressions. And we're moving into this cellular, cellular memory of vibrational frequency. And this is where we move into higher dimensionality. We become one with what we feel and what we feel becomes one with our experience, our reality and our immediate expression. So when you're crossing over, crossing the, the threshold, um, we're all amplifying our senses and sensitivities, right? If you're watching this, most likely because you're part of my community, you are a light worker, a light bearer. You are part of the infusion of light. We are here gathered together. And part of that is that we must turn up the volume on our senses and sensitivities so that we can then be in greater harmony of higher consciousness, of higher dimensionality, and operate in a, in a fundamental way of of, of divine creation, right? Of embodying. So if you desire for something, then 
the process becomes feeling, feeling the something alive within you. And it's always been the how. It's just that it's more available to you in this now moment and in the next breath that is to come than it's ever been available to you before. Because we're shedding, we're tearing away the illusions and the confinements of the mind to allow the truest soul's expression to find its way through. We are divine, you are divine, we are divine creators. You're an infinite being living in an infinite universe. And the sooner you align with that and attach to that and find the vibrational sequence of that being true for you, the more rapidly your entire life changes. And I will say in the embodiment, in the embodying of understanding the law of attraction from a cellular resonance in my own personal expression, so much has changed. It's not a concept. It's an expression and the entire universe comes to align, to show you, to gift through you what that ownership of what it is you desire feels like so you can then see what it looks like. The next piece of this I will save for the next live, so be sure to tune in. Maybe it will be tomorrow. The next piece of this is that we must, what comes at the core of it all, is a fundamental understanding, ownership of your worth. And so that will be the next live that will come. Look forward to it. I am celebrating who you are. Thank you for the significant role you play on planet Earth in this now moment as we are birthing a new Earth. You are worthy because you exist, you are deeply loved, you are cherished, we rise together as one in the light of love, of unity, of grace. I'm sending love to your light. Thank you for you. I love you. Have a great day.